It is back to school for so many districts this month, and you may begin to notice even more school buses back out there on the roads. Our Fort Hatchet was in Reedsville today to see how one school district is teaming up with law enforcement to keep children safe on their way to and from school. Take a look. As students here in Rockingham County prepare to return to the classroom next week, both the school system and sheriff's office are warning drivers to be alert and attentive as these yellow school buses begin to return to the road. You got to give yourself that time because there's never anything that's as important as a child's life. And I think that's really what happens. Anytime you see those accidents, people are either not paying attention or they're in a big hurry. Rockingham County Sheriff Sam Page says if you're behind a school bus, you should anticipate it'll stop even if the lights aren't on. It's going to hit those lights. When those lights go on, prepare to stop because there are children on board, our most precious cargo. And we don't make sure this year we have no children injured. We want to have a safe school year with our transportation of our children across Rockingham County. Page says the sheriff's office will be working in conjunction with the highway patrol and local police departments to keep children safe. And we're going to be working school zones. For the first few days of school, we're going to be out watching for speed. And also persons that are careless and reckless in their operation of vehicles around school zones, we're going to be looking out for that. Superintendent Shotwell says drivers should add 15 minutes to their commute time if there are buses on their route. And he says there's no good excuse for passing a school bus. I wouldn't risk it because you don't know what's coming around that side and you're not going to be able to stop fast enough. And, you know, it's not worth the risk because that's going to be something that's going to haunt you the rest of your life. And that's something that I would rather be late for work than to have that. And students will be getting back on these buses and returning to the classroom beginning next Monday, August 23rd. In Rockingham County, Fort Hatch at WXII 12 News. Giving yourself that extra 15 minutes can make all the difference. Great advice. Thank you so much, Ford. Well, we're told that no students were on board this bus when it slid right off of an exit ramp on Stratford Road from I-40 West. Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools tells us that the bus was on a test run and it slid as the driver was trying to stop. You can see the bus ended up going up an embankment there. The driver was not hurt.